Morning everyone, we are about to do a full self-driving test with a trailer. I am going up to Lowe's this morning. Just pick up some uh, insulation and um, some plywood and OSB. Do some projects. But um, we're just gonna do a test. I haven't used this since the last time. Uh, but we're gonna go see. The only thing different is I've added this, this um, wheel jack here. And always everything else should be the same. I have the flashers on just to make sure my lights work and everything's working good. So we're gonna go on our way. Okay, everyone, we are off on our way. Let's see if there's anything different with full self driving on this version. Um, get around this corner here. So last time, uh, if you haven't seen that video, it did extremely well on that. And um, I guess I should note, um, this is the first video in quite a while I've made. Um, this will be obviously not on version 11. This is 69.25.2. Uh, it will be this version. So I haven't made a video on this in a while. But um, we'll just kind of see how this, how this goes. Um, also efficiency. Oh, there you go. We'll see our efficiency, so you can keep track of that as well. If you're if you're curious what a Model Three towing efficiency is, I guess. But yeah, everyone. So I haven't made a video in a while. That's just because nothing's really changed in these last few versions. It's changed since I've last towed, which is why I'm making this video. Well, this is fairly unique content because I really haven't seen people tow before, like with uh, full self driving. I think I'm. I think I'm the only one. Just because if you're in tow mode in the actual Tesla, it actually it won't it won't let you enable uh, full self driving. I think so because I have an aftermarket tow hitch. Go ahead and change lanes. And that's great. So that's the, uh, that's the funny thing is as long as full self driving stays enabled, um, then. It uh, does great on the highway, so why are we not auto lane change? I don't know why we're not, not navigating autopilot. That being said, I don't want to be uh, with um, with a trailer. I do not want to have it on uh, auto lane change. I want to be able to have a manual lane change. If I want to change lanes, I will, but I don't want to be uh, where it does it automatically. I have, um, right here, I have set it in my, my own tow mode. This is my tow mode, not the car's. And so, just this, just that it prevents the mirrors from folding, prevents the mirrors from tilting, uh, a few other things, uh, just to make it simpler for when I'm towing the, towing the car. This also disables automatic lane change. Also, um, if you didn't notice, I have full self driving in chill mode. My default is average, but because I don't want this to change lanes any more than it has to with the trailer, it's going to go and chill. And of course, I'm going to manually make it change lanes ahead of time to give it the best chance of being safe. So that's that's what I'm going to do. As well as the trailer, um, we're going to go, the, the speed I think is, you're not supposed to go above 65 on the tires on this trailer. So 65 is the speed limit here. And so we're gonna try and keep it 65, um, uh, basically the whole way. Just, just go to the speed limit. That'll give us a good test. This is as fast as I would ever go with this trailer if I had actual uh, an actual load on it. I'm planning to get a um, UTV, which is you know a fancy ATV. Um, let's go ahead and turn that down to 60 here. No one, no one goes 55. Everyone continues going 65, 70 in this 55 zone right here. Unless there's actual construction, even if there are construction workers, the only time people slow down is if there's a police car sitting here, which is very common, but uh, less common with the construction going on right here. But yeah, a, a UTV is just a fancy ATV. Uh, my friends have some, and we want to go ride together, so. I want to get one. Unfortunately, they don't have an affordable electric one yet. I don't want to spend forty thousand dollars on an electric UTV, which is absolutely insane. Um, that's also the utility version of the Polaris um, Ranger. I don't. I 
the Ranger would be useful, but I want the fun version, which is the Razor. Um, and I need at least 80 to 100 miles of range, electric range, to really be useful. And it's just, I don't want to spend $30,000 for that. So, um, that's not going to happen for a while. However, I can get for about 7,500-ish, I'm hoping. One that will fit on this trailer. Uh, that will fit in my weight limit and more importantly the, the whip for the trailer and that will allow me to um, What am I trying to say that that'll allow me to um, uh, uh, tow, tow UTV and be able to go and then we can get some good tow test uh, With you know an actual load see what the efficiency is then I'm expecting like half range 50% range hit that's what I'm expecting. So if I, you know, I have 280 miles at 90%, I get 140 miles of range, uh, which is enough. That's that's all I need to make it to a um, supercharger and get to where I'm planning to go. So uh, I'm just gonna I would charge up halfway and we'll be good to go from there. Let's see. I'm gonna wait until, for the sake of efficiency, I'm curious. I'm gonna try and keep 65 and then 60 and back to 65 again on this particular test. We're gonna make this another test route of towing going to Lowe's hardware. It's not a bunch of full cell driving until we get to V11 and that, then we're all this highway driving will be full cell driving. Also, I guess we passed the, we passed the 65 sign and didn't recognize it. Um, or maybe they took it down, I'm not sure. Either way, we're at the 65 zone right now. I'm not sure why I did it up at the 65. So that's going to be a little bit off. <laughs> Not terribly, but a little bit off in terms of efficiency. But yeah, I hope everyone has been doing well. Uh, I've been super busy between work and working on my house. Really haven't felt like making videos, but the people who continue to watch, I really appreciate you. This is just more of a hobby. Um, I do make money from this, but not a lot. Like we're talking maybe just over a hundred dollars a month to do these videos. So if if I'm regularly doing them, I won't even make fifty dollars a month if if I only make a couple videos a month. It's, you don't make a lot of money uh, with YouTube, at least unless you're a big one. Uh, you have to make a lot of views. You get like a dollar per thousand views. Um, so if you guys look at if I get two thousand views, that's you know somewhere between. It might actually get up to ten dollars for a video, but you know it takes the time to record the video, it takes the time to edit the video, which is somewhere between one to two hours. Um, we'll probably more about an hour for a standard video for me. I don't do too complex of editing, and then it takes you know another hour of prep work, getting the thumbnail made, getting the upload done, getting all the, um, especially the um, chapters. Uh, the chapters take a lot of time, so if you guys appreciate those. Give me a like down below and let me know in the comments if you really appreciate the chapters. Um, I think they're useful whenever I go in videos. Especially now with the mobile app, you can actually skip between, just tap on the screen and it goes between the chapters, which is really awesome. So that's really cool. Efficiency, oh yeah, so I haven't done it since I got this new efficiency test here. So we can see towing, so, so not towing at 65 mile an hour, we would get we would have a green plus probably two or something. You get more range than what it estimates if you go the speed limit, right? If I go five over, you get a right about, um, you get a right about even. But um, maybe about 10% over, which would be about six over. Anyways, uh, but yeah, you can see here, because the climate's at the 64, climate's good, you know, elevation, Etc. Etc. But we're losing a lot of range uh, because of the trailer, of course. Okay, everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and manually slow it down here and slow it down to 55. It should be already slowing down before this. Um, but it always does not get over soon. It needs to go ahead and get over now. Okay, also, it's not, okay, that's my fault. It's, uh, it's something set up wrong so it doesn't have the automatic lane changes. Um, so I could have made it get, get over at a good time. It's interesting how, I'm glad, 
gladly it doesn't think there's a car behind me. It does, I think, it, it seems to limit the, the view distance from behind. Oh, we went over the line a little bit there. Interesting. The automatic lane change, so that's good. That's exactly what we need. This is a really good merge. Like, it's better with the trailer attached than it was on previous versions without the trailer. So this is good. We also need to go ahead and slow down here. And this is a really simple drive, as you can see, we got off the highway now. Like, once we're in version 11, it'll be a little bit more, you know, uh, a little bit more to this drive. There isn't a lot for it to mess up on. Like, so there's a decent chance of zero disengagement. However, this section right here always seems to mess up. So we'll see. So it doesn't really need the blinker on until about now. Okay, so we got there. Is he gonna get in the correct lane? He needs to be in the left lane. No, no, no. Go ahead and snapshot that. It's messed, it messes up every single time here. And we're actually gonna keep on going. We don't wanna go in this, this one right here. gonna make this easy for me and just pull through right here okay so one disengagement everyone um clearly well actually well this is half the video it's, it's because of this right here it the map data is bad um or something i don't know what you want to call it but if um as you can see there's a straight lane that continues going straight here and then the right turn lane so because it you know the it reads the map data wrong and doesn't know where it is it thinks it has to turn here to get into the lowest parking lot you know, which it could it could turn here go down this road a little bit and there's an entrance right here and go back around but that's dumb and we just could keep on going straight and turn in where we are right here so yeah, I'm gonna go in the store, and we'll see you when we back, get back out. Okay, when we have everything packed up, strapped down, and ready to go. I got five pieces of insulation, uh, and some couple different pieces of OSB. Ready to go. Onyx is in, is in dog mode the whole time. Let's see if I can manage to not run this, this curb over. or jackknife my trailer. As I've said in the past, I am not, I'm very fresh when it comes to towing a trailer. So, definitely not, uh, not a lot of experience. And I'd say no more than what full self-driving has uh, in terms of towing the trailer. Um, I understand you have to make turns wider. Have to um, obviously be mindful that's behind you. But um, yeah, should have let full self driving try that. But the trailer is gonna ride a little bit better. Okay, so we gotta turn. See if we can get through this intersection. Okay, so it was. I wanted to get through this intersection, but also it w was about to go straight. Uh, it got confused. Um, going through that intersection right there, 
it doesn't normally do that. Uh, at least coming from Aldi, which is coming from this road here, going straight. So that's interesting. Um, but, you know, nothing too bad. I don't know if this person is going to try and... Yep, they're doing it. People do that all the time. Full self driving only has done that once ever. Even in the beta version. I was like really surprised it never messed up there. Uh, only one time did I ever try and get in that lane and do what that lady did and cut out in front. And it could have been because of the trailer. Because look, it's. Well, actually, no, yeah, it just has the rear from the side. Maybe, maybe that was confusing it. Maybe she doesn't know where she's going. That's probably yeah, that's probably the case. She doesn't know where she's going. Um, okay, well, we're gonna see. It get on the highway here. Yeah, so it turns the blinker on the same time as it would for the car, which is fine for um, which is fine for towing a trailer. Uh, generally, because the car turns on the blinker a little bit late usually. Um, Why is this car, this car is like tailgating me. Hey, get off the bumper. Okay, and I'm gonna in turn, get on the highway, merge on that is. So that type of behavior, I don't know why, 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 why is it doing that? Like, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, snapshot that actually. Why, why it was doing that, I don't know. side of the road so it's going to get closer to the construction workers um, when when they are doing construction here it's Sunday morning so they're obviously not not doing anything here but um, yeah so when it does get over it gets closer to the construction workers so it is it needs to be able to read those signs like that's not stopping it per se that like to do robo taxi I don't think like it, it should be aware of that and will improve but it's just a, it's a minor thing I'm looking for for version 11. And as you can see, a really chewing down range. It, it basically, yeah, cuts range in half. Um, though, if you look at our current drive, it's 400 wires per mile. I think it would be in the... Let's see, we're going to open the 65 now. I think it would be somewhere in the range of 224 get home or the two well two forty ish I think would be about where it where it sits. So it's a little bit under half but also I think that's about going well I normally do go about seventy on this road so I bet if I was going seventy with the trailer it would cut the range in half but since I go sixty five with the trailer it doesn't cut doesn't quite cut the range in half. It's like a I think it's an eighty percent hit. Something like that. It's like forty forty percent less range maybe. Um, but it's interesting how this adjusts. Like, I wish you could, like, like, it's not meant to tow an autopilot, right? But I think it does just fine. They really should enable auto steer with towing for Cybertruck. Like, or 
quote-unquote for um, lane centering, should I say. It doesn't need to cha change lanes. Like, I don't need it to change lanes. I, I can manually do that with changing lanes. I just, I just want it to be able to auto-steer. People would pay for that. To be able to auto-steer of towing, I'd pay for that. Um, just add it to the full slow driving package. It makes it that much more, like, incentivized for people to, to use it. Like, if I'm going on a long trip and I'm towing something, I want autopilot. I don't. I don't want to have to use cruise. Uh, to I'm much less safe with that. I'd rather use autopilot and just let it stay in the lane at the speed limit and you know maximum distance. Actually, yeah, that's something I should have enabled on this profile. Um, just maximum distance and yeah, just make sure. trailer behaves. It always swerves getting off the exit. It always slows down also right here too. It almost always comes in too hot. See how look, it ups the speed back up and I hate that. Like it's not slow, it needs to do more region getting off this exit. It needs to do region all the way down. Not just because I have a trailer, it does that without the trailer, and it drives me nuts. Because then it jams on the brakes and uses friction brakes here at the very end when it doesn't need to. Okay, we are wide open. Come on, car. Wide open. Now we have a car coming. <laughs> but it did that fine, right? Um, yeah, it just it's really timid at this intersection. Um, it is better than it used to be, but it's still really timid. Ooh, okay. The brake, um, I thought that car was in my lane for some reason. Okay. So that's behavior I don't like, and I don't, again, I don't think that has anything to do with the trailer. Uh, I think it had, that would have done that without the trailer. But yeah, so I think I'm going to end it here, everyone. I think the tra trailer did pretty good. Um, uh, considering, I mean, the, honestly, every mistake it made, would have been made without the trailer. I've seen those mistakes before without the trailer. Um, so for what it's worth, I think that's that's um, that's a good test. Uh, if you have questions for me, put it down below. Look at that efficiency, 385, that's pretty damn good. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone, bye.